Hi, what if you want to add product fishes? Depending on the products that are in your um, uh, in your products related list, obviously products are an example. You can do this from quote lines or contract lines or any type of related list in uh, in Salesforce. But we're gonna start an uh, an example from an opportunity. In this example, we want to have the uh, quote lines of the product, uh, so product fishes of the products linked to our uh, our uh, product lines. And here we have two products. We have a diesel engine of 1000 kilowatt and one of 10 kilowatts. So let's take a look here if you want to open this in a new tab and this one as well. What we have done is on the uh, product, we have added a doc config on both products. Added the doc config and this doc config actually, as we go to the doc config, is a static PDF. So it can be a product fish uh, generated via your um, marketing team. Beware, the uh, there is some uh, Salesforce limits we have to think about, of course. So if your marketing team delivers a product fish of 10 megabytes, that will obviously not work. So they have to be, um, yeah, compacted, compressed. Uh, there are tools on the internet to compress PDFs, so uh, you can better compress them and then they are optimized to make sure that they don't explode the size of the document. Anyways, what we have here now is uh, product fishes yeah, um, linked to our product. This demo is very much like the demo that you see over here, dynamically load templates, but this is with uh, template doc configs, and now this demo here is with static PDFs. So if you go back over here, you would see that this is a static PDF. In certain cases, uh, we see that uh, product teams, uh, marketing teams do not want to deliver uh, doc, uh, Word files, uh, but they want to actually deliver uh, PDF files for the product fishes. So that's now perfectly possible. Let's create a data source that we will use in our setup. I'm going to create a new data source. Um, and this data source, I'm just going to name it uh, let's say, uh, get uh, PDF pro product fishes. Okay, it's going to be a list, obviously, save. I'm going to use the Sockel Builder. Going to go for Opportunity Products over here. Do, 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 do. Where is the Opportunity Products? And on the opportunity product, I first need to get the opportunity ID because I only want to get products related to my opportunity ID. Next to that, I want to get my product. Uh, I'm going to follow my product here. And then on the product, I'm going to have a doc config. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to follow the doc config. And here I'm going to use the field customer doc config ID. So that's the unique identifier uh, that's the same over all environments for that doc config. I'm going to add this field now. Okay, that's it. Then add a filter on an opportunity ID equals the record ID add. And that's the data source that I'm going to need. Okay, next up, I'm going to start from my uh, quote document here. So I already have a quote. Let me open the the config and let's see for the configuration. Step one would be, of course, adding the data source. So I'm going to add the data source, which was called uh, get product. Get PDF product fishes. Okay, so this is my data source. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a config type called uh, product uh, fishes. Uh, this is of type additional documents, docs. Huh? Okay, the data source is the one I just added, and the data source field is this one. So that's the identifier of my doc config that I want to use uh, to be uh, to be added, uh, all the doc configs to be added to the uh, generated quote documents. Okay, that's the configuration. Uh, so just add the data source with the, uh, the config identifiers and then create a new config type of type additional docs. 
let's save and then we're gonna test this so in the configuration here i'm gonna find the uh, the quote example that's this one over here so let me run that and then now if everything went fine i indeed have my quote here and then uh, step one i have the gen watt diesel thousand and i have the gen watt diesel 10 kilowatts so that's my two pdfs my two product fishes that are now added automatically because of the uh, additional dog config config type